Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this particular video, we are going to talk about hormones and their secretory locations, right? So this is something that students are always confused with. They don't know how to answer them properly because this is memory based question. And here we have with a proper understanding of this memory based questions. Okay, so I'll give you simple tips to understand uh, the role of hormones, uh, the function of hormones, their secretory glands and everything in details in this particular video. So let's start the timer and let's deal with it fast. The first thing that I want you to uh, put your brain is this image. You know, this is an image that you cannot forget. It's an image of a person who is very angry. But the thing that I want you to focus is the pants the person is wearing is very, very tight. And this person is having some sort of gastric issue, acidity related problem. So we can form an easy simple sentence that can stay in your mind for long. Gastric ki care ke liye tight pant nahi chalta hai. So this is a very simple Hindi word. You know, gastric ke liye, gastric ki care ke liye tight pant nahi chalta hai. It's quite logical advice that for the patients with gastric, you should not wear tight pants. That's what we are actually saying. But you need to remember this in Hindi, this term. Gastric ki care ke liye tight pant nahi chalta hai. So now why do you say this? We'll rearrange this particular uh, sentence like this. Again, gastric ki care ke liye tight pant. So here we have several sections. We have section like gastric, we have section care, we have section pant, we have a section chalta. So there are these four different sections out there. Gastric, care, pant and chalta. Why do we have four different sections? Because these four different sections will accompany it with uh, the hormones produced by four different types of glands and four different uh, locations for different types of hormones. Okay, so let's begin with the first kind that is a gastric. So we call it gastric hormone. So what are the gastric hormones from where they are secreted and what is their role? That's what we are going to understand here, the gastric hormones. Gastric mnemonic help you to remember the hormones produced by the stomach. They are also known as the gastric hormones. Okay, so the first one here I'll say gastrin so gastric name all in capital means these are these hormones g for gastrin stimulates the gastric acid secretion and promotes the gastric motility the peristalsis so g for this then we'll go with a what is a now amylin regulates the blood glucose level and delays the gastric emptying so gastric emptying regulated by this amylin for a then we have s we we'll move to S. Somatostatin. S for somatostatin. Inhibits the gastric acid secretion and regulates the insulin and glucagon secretion as well. So helps in metabolic purpose plus inhibits the gastric acid secretion. Gastric acid is stimulated by gastrin inhibited by somatostatin. Okay. Then come what? Then we have T. TGR5. TGR5 agonists. Promote bile acid secretion and regulate the glucose metabolism process. What else we have? We have C. TGR, TNR is cover. Then we have C, cholecystokinin or CCK. Stimulates the release of digestive enzymes and bile from the pancreas and gallbladder. Cholecystokinin helps the pancreas and gallbladder to pump the uh, digestive enzymes. Okay. So these are all the gastric hormones that we need to understand. So gastrin, amylin, somatostatin, TGR5 and cholecystokinin. These are the five types. So that part is done. So first uh, out of four, first portion is done that is gastric. Then comes to the second part and again I want you to focus on the tight pants in this case. So because that is the uh, that is the key word here. Okay. Gastric K care ke liye tight pant nahi chalta hai. So again, in this section, we are going to focus on this part that is care. Okay. So what about care in here? So what we have is this care mnemonic to help you to understand the hormones released from adrenal gland. Earlier, we talked about the hormones secreted by the stomach, but now we are focusing on the hormones secreted by the adrenal glands. And what are the hormones out there? Cortisol. Start with care, C for cortisol, regulates metabolism, immune response and stress response of the body. Okay. Next is A, A for aldosterone, 
What is the job of aldosterone? To regulate salt and water balance in the body. That is the job of aldosterone. Regulating salt and water balance in the body. What else we have? R. R for renin. Regulates the blood pressure and blood fluid balance. Then we have E. E for epinephrine and norepinephrine. You can say the promotion of fight or flight response by increasing the heart rate, blood pressure and respiration rate. All these four hormones are from adrenal gland, cortisol, aldosterone, renin and epinephrine, C-A-R-E that is care. Done. So second part is done. Gastric and care both parts are done. Now we are left with pant and chalta. So let's move on to the third slide and we are fo will be focusing on the pants. This particular section here. Again, P A N all in capital, S in capital. So four different hormones we'll be talking about. And here we are going to talk about the hormones released by the pancreas gland in our body. So start with this P for pancreatic polypeptide. So P for polypeptide, pancreatic polypeptide. What is the job of, uh, job of this? This is a simple protein. It regulates the pancreatic and gastrointestinal secretion in the body. That is the uh, pancreatic polypeptide's role. So P is done, then we have A, move to A, A is amylin, again another one, amylin regulates the blood glucose level and delays gastric emptying, which is pancreatic amylin. Next one is insulin, so the next one is say N, but see this is only difference here because we don't have I in it, uh, we have A, I, instead of I we, we write here as N, insulin, so that's why it focus on emphasis on N. So insulin for that, regulating blood glucose level by promoting glucose uptake into the cell. So from the blood, the glucose is transferred to the cell easily. Uh, okay, that is the job of insulin. And uh, storage of glucose as glycogen in the liver, that's also be promoted by insulin. And when we talk about insulin, one thing is not mentioned here is the glucagon. They are antagonistic in nature. Glucagon's role is to release glucose into the bloodstream from the stored glucose reservoirs in the liver okay so that's the job so you also remember that apart from that we have s okay that is somatostatin inhibits the secretion of insulin and glucagon both secretion of insulin and glucagon both are inhibited by somatostatin and remember glucagon's job i already mentioned so pant is something that you need to remember the job of uh, all the different hormones released by the pancreas in this case now the last part is uh, there for chalta this is the last part so the fourth slide discussing about chalta this is the this is the last kind of hormones that we'll be discussing and uh, these are the hormones secreted by the parathyroid gland and the thyroid gland okay so we'll be seeing that here so the parathyroid gland secretes a hormone known as parathyroid hormone very simple and easy to remember no mnemonic is necessary what is the job of parathyroid hormone it rises the blood calcium level by promoting calcium release from bone and increasing the calcium absorption in the kidneys. That's the job of parathyroid hormone. Blood calcium level will be increased by parathyroid. Then we have C. So start with now C. CH calcitonin. C for calcitonin lowers the blood calcium level by promoting calcium deposition in the bone. So basically calcitonin's job is antagonistic to that of the parathyroid. Calcitonin lowers the blood calcium, parathyroid hormone increases the blood calcium. After calcitonin, so we have CHL, so there are two C's, one for calcitonin, another is calcitriol. Calcitriol regulates calcium and phosphorus levels in the blood by promoting absorption in the intestines and absorption in the kidneys. So it helps in maintaining the blood calcium and phosphorus levels. Calcitonin, calcitriol both are related and they are working together so C for two C's out there then we have LT so this T so calcitonin CAL so we call it calcitonin C for calcitonin and calcitriol CAL so C and L both are gone we have T T means thyroxine which is also known as T4 and uh, triiodothyronine is known as T3 both are secreted again by the thyroid gland regulate metabolism and energy levels in the body how exactly body it utilizes energy how body's metabolic purpose will continue. This is actually regulated by thyroxine T4 and triiodothyronine that is T3. Okay. So these are all the hormones from this section chalta. Okay. So that's what you need to remember. 
कैस्ट्रिक की केयर के लिए टाइट पैंट्स नहीं चलता है इफ यू रिमेंबर दैट यू विल रिमेंबर द नेम ऑफ ऑल द हॉर्मोन सिक्रेटेड बाई डिफरेंट इंपॉर्टेंट ग्लैंड ऑफ अवर बॉडी द फंक्शन ऑफ ऑल द हॉर्मोन्स विच यू नीड टू एड एक्स्ट्रा सेपरेटली एंड दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द एनिमल हॉर्मोन्स द ह्यूमन हॉर्मोन्स एंड देयर फंक्शन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज इज द लाइक बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब to get more videos and also there is a mnemonic video for plant hormones watch that watch every single mnemonic video from this channel to get a clear understanding thank you